Question, are you worried? That's enough. That's Mr. enough. President. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Former president and convicted felon Donald Trump pulled no punches on Wednesday while railing against Fox News in a post on his tanking Truth Social platform. And Fox was clearly unhappy about their fallout with the felon because today they tried bringing on vice presidential hopeful and North Dakota governor Doug Burgum to make some outrageous claims about Biden that we'll see at the end of the video. Now much like what they report, faux news and Trump being at odds is bad news. It's like watching your MAGA parents fight with each other, except one is always drunk spewing nonsense and the other has dementia. Can you guess who's which? And Trump didn't just lambast Fox itself. He also specifically called out and berated a member of the board of its parent company, Paul Ryan, the former speaker of the house and vice presidential candidate. And before we get into Trump's rage-fueled post, it's worth rewinding a little bit to see why Diaper Don would be so mad at Paul and the network in the first place. Here's Paul Ryan on Fox last week throwing some serious shade at Donald Trump. Donald Trump, you had said, though, that would not be the case with you. You had said that he's a populist and an authoritarian narcissist, that character is too important to me, and it's a job that requires the kind of character he just doesn't have. That's pretty strong. Yeah, that's, that's the way I feel. I agree with that. I don't support Biden either. I think his policies are terrible. Um, I, I hate the fact that I feel like I had to write in a Republican like I did the last time in 2020. I voted for him in 2016, hoping um, that there was going to be a different kind of person in office. And I do think character is, is, is a really important issue. If you put yourself above the Constitution, as he has done. But what you know, happened? What I, turned, think, what I think that makes you unfit you for office. Was it the whole January 6th thing? Uh, I, that's a part of it. I think it's a contribution of factors, but I think it really is just character at the end of the day. And the fact that if you're willing to put yourself above the Constitution, an oath you swear when you take office, in federal office, whether it's president or a member of Congress, you swear an oath to the Constitution. And if you're willing to suborn it to yourself, I think that makes you unfit for office. Putting yourself above the Constitution. Keep that in mind for later. But those were some strong words from the former speaker who used to be pretty chummy with Trump. Clearly, that is no longer the case. In fact, Trump had even been attacking Ryan prior to this interview, which helps explain why, in the post we'll see shortly from today, he is clearly fuming. I just don't like the way he makes decisions. All right, well, he doesn't like you either. Yeah, um, when he that. heard your comments, he, he posted this on Truth Social last month. Rupert Murdoch should fire this pathetic rhino, Paul Ryan, <laughs> from the board of Fox. He said that Ryan is a loser, always has been, always will be. He was the weakest and most incompetent speaker of the House in its history. That's saying Fox something. will sink to the yeah. absolute bottom of the pack if Paul Ryan has anything to do with it. You do serve on our board yeah. of directors, so he's saying you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Look, I got death, taxes, and weird stuff from Donald Trump. That's, these are the three certainties in my life. So to me, it's just another day in a life. Look, fealty to Trump is what rhino is, right? meaning if you don't pledge fealty to this man, then you are a rhino. It used to mean a liberal Republican versus a conservative. I'm a conservative Republican. He's a populist. He's not a conservative. I want to see someone who's, who has fidelity to principles. I would prefer a party that is based on principles, not personality or populism. This populism is untethered to principles, and that's why, you know, I'm, I'm an anti-establishment Republican. But, but now, to be fair, I kind of hear what Paul Ryan is saying here, but a Republican party with principles is an idea that is laughable at best, but realistically, completely detached from reality. Republicans have lost any semblance of fidelity to principles, let alone having any principles in the first place, because they've clearly resigned themselves to falling in line behind a cognitively deteriorating, spiteful, wannabe dictator. Here's what Trump had to say today in response to Paul Ryan's interview. Nobody can ever trust Fox News, and I am one of them, with the weak and ineffected rhino Paul Ryan on its board of directors. He's a total lightweight, a failed and pathetic speaker of the house, and a very disloyal person. Romney was bad, but... 
Paul Ryan made him look worse. As a team, they never had a chance. Rupert and Lachlan, get that dog off your board. You don't need him. All you need is Trump. All you need is Trump. Make America great again. Wow, spoken like a true narcissistic authoritarian who wishes dearly he could still fire people for a living. You're fired. <laughs> Which brings us to Doug Burgum, joining Wednesday's installment of The Story on Fox News, where host Martha McCallum played a montage of political pundits fretting over a potential dictatorship if the former president returns to the White House. And in a Desperate attempt to suck up to the big guy upstairs, Burgum had this utter nonsense to say. With us, I don't know if you heard the sound that we just played, but it was a, a montage of a number of people in the media talking about the possibility of imprisonment for people who disagree with former President Trump, um, people being put in camps, that the entire system of government um, would be under a collapse pressure under a second Trump term. What, what would you What would you say to them? What would you want them to Think about. Well, Martha, I think you know that this is just ridiculous. The Democrats seem to have two strategies. One is be afraid, and the second strategy is be even more afraid. Uh, there's no basis uh, at all in these assertions that they're making. It's all, all this uh, fear mongering. President Trump served as our president for four years, and during that time, we had peace and prosperity. Uh, under Joe Biden, uh, we're actually living under a dictatorship today where he's you know, bypassing Congress on immigration policy. He's bypassing Congress on protecting our border. He's bypassing uh, Congress uh, on student loan forgiveness. I mean, he's defying the Supreme Court. I mean, those are the things that authoritarians and dictators do is they don't follow our democratic processes and they just assert their own liberal uh, view. And that's what the Biden administration is doing. Well, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black, you know why Joe Biden had to bypass Congress on immigration policies to protect the border? Because the guy who has literally said he wants to be a dictator made Republicans in Congress vote down an actual border bill so that he could continue to run on and complain about it. Calling Joe Biden a dictator is as stupid as calling Donald Trump a saint. Nothing could be further from the truth, and Bergen should be ashamed of himself for saying it. But of course, he's not, because Republicans have no shame, which is why he can sit there and spout this ludicrous nonsense in the hope that Donald Trump will pick his sorry ass as his date to the prom. Sorry, I meant as his vice president. This is just such childish behavior, I got confused. You know, they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, but for Republicans, it's more like hell hath no fury like Donald Trump toilet truthing at you when he feels slighted. And as much as I despise Paul Ryan, and I know it's only because he's not running for office, I respect that he had the balls to actually call Trump out. Because as Doug Bootlicker Burgum proves yet again, any Republican who is currently in or has a shot at power will not speak truth to the power that is Donald Trump. They won't disagree with him, they won't push back, they'll just be yes men and women fueling his worst impulses and giving him carte blanche to say and do whatever he wants out of fear of retribution. Now you tell me that doesn't sound like an authoritarian dictatorship in the making. Thanks for watching, folks. If you made it this far, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, hit that bell notification to get alerted when we drop new videos. We greatly appreciate all of you being here and watching. For Really American, I'm Kenny Hess, and I'll see you all in the next one.